Pike County Humane Society in St. Cloud is going to be having some exciting changes made to their shelter in the near future to help benefit their animals. With us now is UTVS News reporter Tony Ling, fellow live at the Humane Society to fill us in. Tony, how's it going? Hi, Tanya and Nick. I'm outside here in front of the current Tri-County Humane Society where there's a lot of excitement building up about a new building they're trying to build for the animals with the help of some generous donations. And this building behind me will ultimately meet the wrecking ball. Small, inconvenient, uncomfortable, and old are just a few of the drawbacks at the Tri-County Humane Society shelter. A facility that was originally um, built doing the best we could with what we had, and then we've added on a couple of times. So it's not a very uh, smooth uh, way of caring for the animal. But with the magical help of donation money, that's all about to change with the construction of a new animal shelter. We're going to build it on our current campus here, right behind our current building. Um, it's going to be more space for the animals and more space for humane education programming as well as um, having kind of a better HVAC system. The current structure was built in 1989 with the very little money they have but they have since grown out of it with nearly 3,000 animals coming through in 2018 and almost 100 in the building now. We tend to be elbow to elbow in some situations um, and having more space will make our jobs a little bit easier I think and more efficient and it should help lower the stress of the animals. One of the biggest inconveniences for them now is having to transport animals from one building to another for surgery in a shopping cart. But that's just one downfall. Even the way we have it set up, uh, like cat wards and dog wards, I have to walk to do even just a basic physical or medical treatment on a cat. I have to walk by barking dogs. The idea for a new building came three years ago, and the Humane Society has since been receiving donations from various people, including former SCSU professor Harvey Jarrett, and he recently passed away. His wish was that his estate be used to help provide this to expand this community that the Tri-County Humane Society has created uh, for the animals in the area. The new facility will be double the size of the current building and it will have improved housing for the animals, humane education space, a dog park, surgery rooms, and much more. But none of this is possible without the care of people. A group of staff um, that really lives and believes in the mission, it's just so inspiring to be part of something like that. and. Who can resist puppies and kitties, right? Um, that was really part. When they finally do move out of this nearly 30 year old structure, they're gonna tear down this building and the area around here and they're gonna put in a dog park. And then starting in the fall of 2019, that's where they're gonna have their groundbreaking. And then they hope to be open by the spring, by the spring of 2020. Reporting live here in St. Cloud, Tony Langfellow, UTVS News. Well, Tony, that new shelter looks fantastic. We always love taking the time each week to talk with Gina Fox and meet some of the pets from the Humane Society. And how will this donation uh, process work to they're able to get enough money? Well, they need $3.5 million in order for this grant to go through. And so they have so far gotten a $100,000 grant from the Jurek estate. And then they're also trying to get a 20, they also got a $25,000 grant from an anonymous source. And so right now they're looking for more donations, but they have a good start so far to get that 3.5 million. Yeah, well, hopefully they do reel in those uh, uh, more donations. What else uh, can we expect the new shelter to provide, Tony? Well, they're gonna, they're gonna need a lot of space for the people. Uh, more, the, more room for workers, more room for the people coming through, and more room for the animals, ultimately. The animals just don't have enough room right now. So for the animals, it'll be a better living situation for them once they get them more room. Wow, Sony, Tony, sounds like it will be nice for everyone. Yeah, thanks so much.